Congratulations! It's not every day someone has chosen to be a magical girl. Only a fraction of a fraction of those who dream of being one will ever get their wish come true. Suffice to say, you should be very proud of yourself. I'd throw you a party, but, well, it's just the two of us. That's not much of a get-together. And besides, we should focus on more practical things. I don't want to intimidate you, but being a magical girl is a large responsibility and a challenging task. But don't worry, I'm an expert. I'll show you the ropes and make sure you have all the knowledge and tools you need to fulfill your duties. You're pretty fortunate, actually. Magical girls are in such short supply, it's not often one gets another as a tutor. I mean, it's rare enough for magical girls to even meet. So I guess this is special for both of us. Now, for your first lesson, you should know that all magical girls have their own unique power. Maybe you've already discovered yours? It comes quite naturally, after all. Like a muscle. For instance, mine is the ability to rewind time. It's not flawless. I, I can't go too far back. In fact, a few minutes is my absolute limit. And even that causes me so much strain. Like I just ran a marathon. But it does let me try my hand at an event multiple times. For instance, if I play a slot machine and lose, I can go back a bit and try again and again until I win. <laughs> Don't tell any casinos, though, all right? I'll give you a cut. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was I touching my shoulder too often? Oh, it's just a bit sore is all. <laughs> Yanking the levers of slot machines so many times really does a number on a girl. <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about it. Um, besides, you must be way more sore, since it must have hurt when you fell from heaven. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, did you say cringe? <laughs> oh, damn it, I knew it. Oh, guess I'll just have to try again. Ah, uh, besides, you must be way more sore. You've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> oh, did you like that one? Yeah, I just thought of it on the spot. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe one of them actually worked. 633rd time's the charm, I guess. Hmm? Oh, but, uh, anyway. Never mind that. <laughs> we should get on with the lesson. I still have to tell you all about witches. They're the thing we fight as magical girls. They might look like they're horrifying monsters, like a, a zombified wolf or a fleshy blob full of eyeballs, but they were actually once human. When a human is overwhelmed with negative emotion, whether it's greed or jealousy or some other kind, they sometimes receive a black spot somewhere on their body. And if they don't rein those emotions in, the spot spreads until they become completely enveloped by it and turn into a witch. What type of monster they become depends on the emotion and their circumstance. Ah, uh, for instance... Once a woman was overcome with jealousy at her cheating husband. So, she became a monstrous witch that looked like a praying mantis. You know, an insect known for eating the heads of its mates. Well, anyway, magical girls in particular have a high frequency of turning into witches. So, you have to be very careful with your emotions, you hear? If you ever feel upset about anything, you talk to me, okay? You can tell me anything. Stopping the witches doesn't just mean beating them in battle. It also means addressing people's emotions. But once a witch is formed, only us magical girls can stop it. And we have to. They can do a lot of damage if they're allowed to wreak havoc. Hmm? What? Oh, no, no. No, my shoulder's fine. Sorry if I was touching it too much again. <laughs> Like I said before, please don't worry about it. You're hungry? Well, I guess we can take a break to eat. I have some food I think you'll just love. Hold on. Here we go. 
I've got sandwiches you'll absolutely adore. We've got tuna, cheesesteak, and kebab. Uh, no, hold on. You don't want that one. You want this one. Trust me, you'll prefer it. How do I know? Well, uh, because I'm your teacher. <laughs> it's my job to know. Yeah, okay, that doesn't really make much sense, but just trust me. I've been trying a lot more than just three types of sandwiches with you, after all. Mmm, yeah, it's good, right? Maybe even your favorite sandwich? Yeah, I thought so. You wouldn't think it until you tried it, huh? I guess I just have a sixth sense with you. You know, I, I feel like we just have such a strong connection. In fact, I'd say... Mm, mm, my shoulder? You want to see my shoulder? No, no, I, I don't really think that's a good idea. Like, like I said, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just a little sore. It'll go away with some rest. Besides, I'm not really comfortable showing... Hey! What do you... Let go of my sleeve! I said you don't have to look. I said... Oh. Oh. Well, are you happy now? Yeah, take a good look at it. This is what you wanted to see, right? The black patch all over my shoulder? Oh, I was really hoping you wouldn't find out like this. Well, I was really hoping you wouldn't find out. Oh. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand why I have this or the negative emotions that made it. You've never understood. You've never understood my feelings. Or maybe you did understand and you were just ignoring them. Oh. I love you. I've always loved you. Long before you even became a magical girl. You're the only reason I even bother with this stupid magical girl shtick. I don't care if witches rampage about and cause havoc. Let them. I don't care if they cave in a subway or knock down a tower. Let them. The only reason I cared about stopping them was to protect you. To make sure you don't end up as a casualty. Ugh. You know, I didn't teach you yet, but a magical girl's power tends to be related to her desire. That's how I got my power. I was always watching you, talking to you, but I always mess up my interactions with you. Maybe you noticed I was stalking you, or, or maybe I came on too strong and you got freaked out, so I was blessed with this power. I could always retry my interactions with you, again and again, until I got it right. And, and sometimes they actually turn out okay. But, oh well. Looks like I messed up again. I'll have to rewind this interaction, just like all the others I've done with you. Again and again, until I, until I can get it right. Until I can get it perfect. Maybe one day I'll finally be able to do enough right that you'll love me and... and be mine. Oh, hopefully before I become a witch. Hey, remember how I said stopping witches isn't just about beating them in battle? It's also about addressing people's emotions? Well, I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve right here, and it's got your name on it. So... Won't you say you love me, too? That you want to be with me? I'm sure if you give me the right answer, my shoulder will go back to normal. And if you don't... Well, hey, I can always try again. No? Well... Have it your way. Congratulations! It's not every day someone has chosen to be a magical girl. <laughs>